Ah, mummy, I don't exist anymore. We've got a disaster of junctions in the middle here. This is what we're going to be working on to help us to learn to see how good junctions can make a big difference in your city. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of City Skyline Fix Your City. And here we are in the city of Rockfield, sent in by Nico. And oh, my goodness me, the traffic in this one is pretty, pretty horrendous. It was... Oh, we're at the edge of the map. It was 5% when I loaded it up. Let's just take a look at how bad it is. So coming in here from out the city, it queues all the way down there. You can see the red lines. Queues down here, queues down there. Coming in from this way, it's queuing, and that's just building up. When I started, it was queued to here. Now it's all the way back there. You've done a lot of good things. Just looking around here, you've got lots of off-ramps uh, coming out. Going in, you've only got one way in. Yeah, around here... Lots of off-ramps coming in, which is good. If we move up to this side of the city, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally chock-a-block everywhere. You've got your cargo hub set up here. You've got a cargo harbour, a harbour, and another cargo harbour. Yeah, two next to each other like that. Totally pointless, totally pointless. And then this queues all the way up here to get into this area. And again, you've got roads coming out onto these roads, but yeah, all sorts of issues going on. So, first things first, we are gonna pause the game. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, traffic. So 5%, there we go. We're going to pause the game and we are going to delete everything that's through here. Uh, you do have Metro, I believe. Let's have a look. No buses. Hover over Metro. Yeah, you've got a lot of Metro lines. And a lot of people are using them, which is good. And they go around the city, all sorts of various places. We'll see how we go, whether we get time to look at those. I've just realised this road here is like a one-road challenge. Look, it's a big, long, snaking road, but no traffic on it. So that is good. Just traffic everywhere else. So let us start by deleting a whole load of stuff. Uh, you've tr you said you've sort of done some lane mathematics. Uh, I don't really think you have because you've got like six lane weird roads coming in here. Well, yeah, it's just... Oh, this is all going. It's all going. Say no more. It's all gone. Oh, if I unpause the game now and we take a look because <laughs> all these cars are going to disappear. Look, these guys are now regretting their life choices. What am I doing on a road that doesn't even exist? Unpause. Ah, mummy, I don't exist anymore. They've all gone. Um, what is the traffic now? 6% hooray! That's good. That's much better than it was. So let us have a look. So you've got the highway in here. You've got the highway there and the highway there. So you want a decent junction in here. Or oh, what shall we use? Let me have a sip of tea and decide. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll go for a simple stack interchange from Timbo to be going on with. So I am going to plop that down there and connect this one up. Now, this one here, you've sort of got... Yeah, you, you, you've changed your highway roads and got all sorts of different stuff going on here. Oh, that deleting sound is like the loudest sound known to mankind. So let's just turn that down a bit. And then we're going to run that up to connect to this. And then we'll work on some other junctions in here. There we go. So that connects that up. That connects this up. And then I want this to run all the way through here. But we are going to have some other junctions here. And I'm just sort of considering whether... Because you've got like your highway comes down here as well. Which should do. Although you've got it... Uh, I suppose you've got slip roads and things. That's not too bad. Um, whether to have one big junction in the middle. Because you've also got some underground roads here. And this one goes up and connects to this section. I mean, I could just delete all of that and blah, 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 do something else. But, yeah. Or have a junction here for this one and this side. And a junction here for this one. Because this is quite... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to have a better junction up here for these guys. And so we'll come back to that. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I'll tell you what I'm thinking of doing is a few of these trumpet interchanges. Um, just to try and help people get in and out. So I have one for there, one for here, one for each of those maybe. Just so we're sort of spreading the traffic a bit. There we go. We're just going to connect that. I've decided to go for a bigger one in the middle here. And we're going to connect that to here and here and then have a through road. But you've got your roads going the wrong way around here, which is slightly odd. So I'm obviously going to have to fix those up. 
uh, get them facing the right way and that will work much better so it's good to have a lot of slip roads coming off like this uh, maybe a few too many but you know we'll go with what you've got and we'll see what happens all you've got to be careful of is the game will sometimes choose one slip road and just make that the only slip road they use and that really does depend on how you've built uh, everything else up in your city let's just make that one lane don't need more than that so we'll sort of cross that bridge when we come to it but we'll get that set up like that uh, and then this i think i want just going straight through to here i might have one other junction down here and then change this to a two-way road let's see how that goes there we go and then connecting up to this you've got this as your road coming out um which is quite interesting you've got that one coming out as well so you had your in at your top i'm just wondering whether we could just do a little something something here <sighs> do we really want to keep it all going one way yeah okay well let's have that as out and then we'll have this one as your in road do you know what i think i'm going to just reverse what you've done here and you've got a lovely massive six lane road oh it makes me cringe it makes me cringe i'm going to just keep it as you've got it and we're just going to turn it around there we go uh don't worry i'm going to go around and check all the any on and off ramps and roads and things that we've got so now what we can do is if i just delete that a bit we can connect that to there i'm also thinking about adding a little junction here to, you, you've got it to come in making this a little two-way road instead of a one-way road i think that would work much better let's just go with this one here like that so then you've got access from both ways uh, let's just delete that and see if i can squeeze in a small little a small little small little one of these in here oh my goodness me they're bigger than i thought right and this little section down here we are definitely going to have a roundabout of sorts uh, let's just see what we can fit in here i want that to go to there only a small one will be good we'll just use the standard standard roundabout uh, i don't want that to connect to there. let's just remove that for now need a little bit of space there we go don't forget if you're doing anything on your roundabout to brace it up like that we're going to change this to the highway there we go we're going to delete that and the reason you brace up your roundabout is because when you add roads in like this it doesn't change the shape of it which is good and there we go we'll have that and then we're going to have so the outcome in there that's going to join to this one so we're going to lose a couple of the roads along here but it's definitely going to be worth it yeah most definitely oh i hate the fact you've got that six lane road i'm going to stick with a six lane road if it starts causing us problems i am going to remove it and change it to something else because i hate having a six lane road coming into a three lane roundabout we'll see how busy it gets and then we're going to have this way as coming in and we're definitely not going to use a six lane there let's use the three lane to there and what have you got here you've got your cargo harbor Bom, 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 bom. we could have that going in and that going out for our cargo harbor yeah actually we're going to do that so let me just do something here there you go so they're going to come in there drop off and then leave i'm not sure i want that connected here i just want that to be a feeder road for these areas so yeah that can now just be one way coming up there let's just again go with this oh that's the leaving road isn't it yeah we do it we do it with this one so we'll come down there like that okay and then we'll change it around <laughs> there we go a lot of people ask me about what keys am i using for doing all of this sort of stuff if you have a look in your uh your game settings i want to go out and i want to go out it shows you all the keys there in the settings page so you can check all of that out i'm wondering whether to have that as an out coming down there as well that might just be a good idea let's just do that so you can come in drop off and leave up there or leave down there yeah let's go with that um we just need to set that roundabout up so we're going to go add priority signs hold shift so everybody coming on gives way and then we're going to use this one here junction restrictions and say if you're coming on i don't want that one turned on if you're coming on i don't want that one turned on that's the end to block junction but if you're going round the roundabout i do want that one turned on uh so not that one that's all fine so we'll go with that i'm going to come back and do some lane mathematics on some of these junctions in a bit we'll, we'll stick with what we've got for now okay so that's that that's this i want some sort of connection coming up here 
Because these guys have got... Oh, hang on. Let's just do this bit over here. Look, we've got this square. We need a better junction here coming in down there. Let me sort this one out. There we go. And while we're on this junction, we are going to do the lane mathematics. So three lanes coming down. One lane goes off. Look at these lane junctions here. So this is a nice tip for you that use vanilla, no mods or on consoles, that sort of thing. At the minute, this lane is doing two things because we have three lanes straight on. So the game says, ah, oh, we need three lanes straight on. I'll face this way, it's straight on. But it also says we need a lane going to the right. So it makes this one a double one. Downgrade this to two. Ah, now we have two lanes straight on, one lane right. And that will really help your traffic. And we'll do the same going in the other direction as well. There we go. And then what we're going to do is quickly do a little bit of lane connectors here. And uh, we've got to get Hugo involved. So Hugo there. Hugo there. And his cousin Hugo through. There we go. And that will just keep that all moving when the traffic gets busy. Hugo there. Hugo through. You go there. There we go. Excellent. That's a nice little junction. What is this road under here doing? It is filling up with traffic. And that is coming from... Woohoo! <laughs> all the way over here. So where's that? That is up here. Okay. So we definitely want to change something with the road layout here. I'm thinking about something. Yeah, that's good. I'm definitely thinking about something. All of this is going to go... Yep. Yeah. Let's just run this down. And I'm thinking about a roundabout in here. I also want to buy this square just to give myself a little bit more space. Thank you kindly. You've got unlimited money on. We're going to be making more money soon anyway. But yeah, we'll go with the unlimited money. And then I want a bit of space in here for connecting all of these up. So if we delete that and delete that and delete that. This is definitely going to have a better road going through there. So let us use the slightly larger roundabout this one here that will do and then we'll just get this one hooked up there we go and when you do this three lanes into a six lane road you must do your lane connectors because these guys here are like wanting to squidge around there and these ones want to squidge around the corner there don't want any squidging technical uh, traffic term there you want them to just come straight on and these guys here they're all facing the right way but you just want to make sure they stay in their lane and also we want to say just go straight through so don't bother stopping there come on to the roundabout do your business go where you want to go uh this road up here is that like a one-way road it is so what i'm thinking of doing is let me see let me see is downgrading this to that whoops and then changing this one to that all the way along here and then we'll just connect these up hopefully that's nice and straight nearly so that will go through there let's just carry this one through with the the six lane rows that we've got let's add a bit of grass make it look nice and this is going to go through the middle here and that is going to join down here so we're basically going to just remove the access to this underground road and i think that's just going to go straight into here that may end up becoming a roundabout we'll see because we've got this one way it's become a one-way road all the way around i don't think we need to do that so let's just sort this out well where does this where does this road go Oh, yeah, we want to connect it up to there. Oh, that's good. Okay, we'll do that. So now we've got another way in and out for all of these people. And then these little rows we've got going through here. That one's been accidentally changed. I'm going to alternate which way they go. So that is going to be coming up here and going in. No, let's have that one coming out. And then this one going in, that one coming out, that 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 one going in. Uh, this one coming out. And then down here, I am most definitely going to add a little roundabout. We're going to use a three-lane road. And that's going to go there. The standard size should be fine. And because we've set this all up correctly, all of our traffic manager things, give way is fine. And all of that is fine as well. Excellent. So, yeah, we're going to do that to help that little junction there. Right, let us unpause the game and speed it up and just sort of see how all of this goes. Everyone's going to be diving around, grabbing a row. Did we do the traffic manager on this road? Pretty sure we did. It's going to take a while for like all of this to sort itself out because it's a right mess. I really don't like this three-lane, six-lane road coming out here. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I think for the last section of this, uh, we're going to change this to three lanes. Whoops. There we go. Like that. 
coming up here. They can sort themselves out there. It shouldn't get that busy. And also, we are going to remove industries that are right on the ends up here just to give people a chance to get out without getting clogged up. Yeah, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, let's do lane mathematics first on our junction. So, three lanes coming down here. I'm going to change this to two. And then three lanes coming up here, one going off, change that to two. And then these big lanes, like this, like this off lane here, really only needs to be one lane. So I'm going to downgrade that, thank you, to one lane. And then we've got one lane plus one lane equals two lanes. And that's fine, that can spread out into there. And then coming up here, three lane, one lane, and one lane. So this is one lane as well, going round. And then when that hits on here, we've got two plus one back to three again. So that makes that work much better. And then we just need to go through and do our lane connectors. Bit of Hugo there, Hugo there, and Hugo there. Coming out on here as well, we've got this one lane to there, Hugo there, and you go there. So that should be good. That splits off, that's fine. That splits off, that's fine. Then when they merge here, we want them both to stick to their own lane. Now, I don't want them to switch down here, so I'm going to select that node. Yep, shift S, so straight on. And then around here, I'm going to say, look, if you want to start picking different lanes, you've got so many choices. You can have one of those three, and you can have one of those three, and then you can, I'm going to say, don't lane switch there, and then they can switch when they get down here. There's so much space. That should be okay. Mm, this one, we need a bit of lane mathematics as well. So three lanes going off down to two. Uh, there, and then one lane back on. Three lanes going off. Uh, one lane going off, so down to two, which is fine. Oh, it's, that's not connecting there. That confused me there for a moment. I was thinking, what the monkeys is going on? Uh, so that probably goes to there. Uh, these little bits, though, we've got like... We could change this. What we could do is have two lanes coming off like that, and then one going up there and one going down there. And then just to aid with that, we could just up this to four lanes. And because we've got this junction quite close to it, I'm going to do that to give them a bit of space for lane switching. And we could do the same here. We've got two lanes... So we're going to make that two lanes, and then when it comes up here, we're going to make this four lanes. And I'm going to do it all the way along there, just to give some extra, extra stuff. And we could just do that here. Look, we could have two lanes, so one for each of those, and then upgrade this to four lanes beforehand. We can only do that one. And I'm going to do it here as well. So the two lanes, two lanes plus two lanes. Change that to four lanes. Oh, I can't do it. Let's use the move it mod to move that node in. Then I can upgrade that, and then I can do the move it mod and do control Z, and it will stretch it back out again. And then we'll do the same on this bit here. So three lanes. I mean, there's different ways you could do it. You could have like two go off. So three lanes minus two makes this one. You know, that's the other way you could do it. But it just seems a bit like not enough. So that's why I prefer to sort of upgrade beforehand to four lanes and then have the two go off and the two go on. Let's do that. And the same the other side as well. Make sure I get the right road. And then we'll just... Oh, yeah, hang on. We'll grab this one. Oh, 21%. It's going up. We'll do that one there. So we've got the two lanes. Then we'll just upgrade, give them a couple of lengths of four to get out. We'll go a couple of lengths of four, a couple of lengths of four, and just get those to a two. I've done no lane... Um, connectors anywhere i'm going to just see how that flows up here as well you've got this like one-way road going up there i'm thinking of doing a similar thing where we just change this i am going to do a six lane road up here uh, i'll connect that up to this highway and then we'll have the in and the out roads alternating and we'll just see how that goes it might not be brilliant if if the game decides to choose like i said one slip lane in or out over all others and it causes some traffic but we can sort of deal with that when we get there and then that's also going to bring us back up here again do you know what, blow it just easier to put it into a three lane roundabout we'll leave it like that and then i'm going to um yeah i'll keep an eye on it if we need to make any changes we'll see how it goes and then we'll have this like this. I always have the one that's nearest to the big junction, in this case, the roundabout, as the one in, because that just gets rid of some more of the traffic. Okay, so I've just done the lane mathematics on here as well. And then where the traffic comes out, I'm just doing my lane connectors. And then I 
think that is all the junction. Oh, I'll tell you which junction we haven't done. So lane mathematics and everything on that one. We've done that one. We've done this one. We've done that one. We've done this one. Uh, that goes down there. This is that disconnected or is that still connected? I think that's fine. That goes underneath here. Yeah. Okay. So that is the main highway done. Let's run that for a bit. We're at 23%. It's going to take a while, I think, to die down and to run through. I mean, look, you can already see. Look at that. Look at that. I love it when it runs smoothly. Ignore the fact it's backing up down there. So now we're just going to go around the city and do some troubleshooting of places where, like this guy here, we've got three lanes going up and they're all getting stuck behind this one. We're going to make that lane for going off, that lane for going straight on, that lane for going right. And yes, I remember to connect up this train line again. Good. All the highways are moving really, really well, which is what we want to see. We want the main arteries of your city. Look at this. Look at this thing. With lane mathematics on and lane connectors is an absolute thing of beauty. If you can get your main roads, your highways running freely like this, you, you've solved most of the problems in your cities. And then it's just making sure that you don't get like six lane roads banging into a one lane road and nonsense like that. But that is so much better. Just looking at this section here, up to 35%. All of these guys are all queuing down here to come out here because we've got this little up and down road for getting in and out. Which is just causing so many problems. What's happening here? Oh, I didn't do the lane connectors here, did I? No, that's why they're all getting each other's way. Let's just do this first. Uh, you go there, you go there... Oh, I've done the lane connectors, but you were still lane switching. Hmm. So they're coming down here. Do, 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 and then they're just going at the end. Because these guys all just want to turn around. This just has to be some sort of roundabout. There's just too much going on here for it not to be a roundabout. And they're going to make a nice big roundabout. Like that. And then we're going to... Brace it up, and we're going to connect all of these roads to it. And also, there's another quick change I've done on this road going down here. It's just some obvious lane mathematics. We've got one lane coming off, so it's gone down to two. Uh, I've gone up to three again because we've got another lane coming off. Yeah, just ignore that. Down to two, one on, back to three, one off, down to two, one on, back to three. And that's just really helped it move in a lot better. And this bit up here, they were all queuing in that one lane to come up here. We've actually got a lane going off in the lane. So lane mathematics again. Look, one lane off, one back on, back to three, one off, down to two. And this doesn't need to be two lanes. So we have that like that, back to three. And you've got another one coming on here as well. We don't need that. Yeah, that should work fine. This isn't so bad around here. They're doing some hawky balky lane switching. I told you to pick your lane when you're coming on. Don't do hawky balky lane switching, please. Oh, by the way, that's boarded up to 54%. So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, something else I've been doing just to help the traffic move smoothly along here is wherever you've got um, three lanes coming off like that, use the lane tool to make sure that this outside lane isn't set up with the straight on and the right. Just one lane for right and the rest for straight on. And then the next section, because we've got a road coming out, what I do then is use one of the asymmetric roads and go like that. And then we can set our lanes here and say, when you come out, I'm going to force them to go right so they don't cut across the traffic. And then a bit of Hugo there later, and they can just all keep going. And uh, we can take the traffic lights out of there, and off you go. So you go through, you go through, you go through, and that just keeps moving, that just keeps moving, and I'm working my way along here, doing that sort of thing, and it stops this happening. You can see I've got the asymmetric lanes here, so this will start going down soon. And uh, we've got this turning in and that turning in. I'm just wondering whether to send these guys down. Can they spin around on this roundabout? If they go up around there, this one, I don't think they can, no. So at some point along here, another little mini roundabout might be good. I reckon just there. And there we go. A little bit of work later. This junction is humming along smoothly. So I've used some asymmetrical roads here. Uh, I've, I've let them pick their lane here. Here I've got the lane connectors going through. Three to three. Two plus one into three, which is good. Here I've got 
two and one. Again, use of the asymmetrical road. So that goes into three lanes. Got the nice roundabout here. Oh, look, it's all cleared up. And I've got this little bypass here because most cars I wanted to go straight across. So now they come down underground and join up there. And then along here, I've just done all the normal lane stuff we were talking about. One lane for off, two for on, one lane for off, two for on. I haven't done it going in the other direction because I haven't really needed to. But particularly down here with all this traffic coming down, asymmetrical road again. So two lane plus one lane. And there we go. They just keep on moving through. That is what we want. Very good, very good. I might just stop people crossing over there. That might be a good idea. Let's just take that one and say no crossing. No, that's not the one. No crossing, no crossing, no crossing. And let them cross somewhere else. Look, and that will just keep that going even more. Very good, very good. What are we at? Let's take a quick glance. 31%. So obviously a bit more troubleshooting to be done. But yeah, I'm going to do that around the city and come back to you. Like things like this. There we go. Look, perfect example again of one lane being used for two things. I think there's a lot of that in the city. But as soon as I sort of fix those things up, everything will run much, much better. Do you know what? I'm having one of those days today where I'm just quite happy to sit and completely fiddle with somebody's city and I'm fixing up so many little things. I've got asymmetrical roads all over the place, all sorts of stuff. And this is a perfect example here where you've got one lane doing two things and it just keeps backing up. There's so much traffic coming out here. It just backs up. So what we can do is get a two-lane highway in here, do that. We'll add a little bit of no switching in the middle, and whoop, the game jumped, keeps doing that. And now we can say to these lanes, one for left, one for straight on for going up here. There we go. And that's going to give all these guys and girls so many more options to get through. Let us just speed that up. Is that put traffic lights in? No, we're fine. And that should let this go down twice as quick than before and hopefully not back up there anymore that is the idea and then of course i've got to now go down this road and do all the lane one lane for left a couple for straight on just to stop them all queuing up behind each other there we go but once i've done that that would definitely be much better So what did we manage to get up to in the end? By the way, you probably saw on the little flyby at the end there, I need to do a bit of lane work on here and some lane mathematics. I've sorted that all out. We got up to 75% in the end. You can see most of it is green. Some of these roads are a little bit red just because they're so busy. But with all these extra junctions, all the bypasses, all the things we've added, it is going so well. I'm really pleased. If you would like me to fix your city, don't forget to check out the link in the description to do so leave a like and maybe subscribe before you leave as well if you enjoyed it and i will see you soon drink tea take care have a great day see you soon bye bye